Anya O'Gorman, a tough one to take out there here in Tallis Stadium. A 1-0 defeat to P-Mount United. Sum it up for us. Yeah, I think we're obviously disappointed the result. I think we played well for the majority of the game and we're on the front foot. And I suppose goals, goals changed the game and if we had, Jamie had taken the chance for true good play um, just shortly before that moment. But look, laps in concentration maybe at the back and they get one chance and, and they take it and they, they show their quality and um, they defended well for the rest of the game. That's exactly what it was. It was that one chance and they took it. You know, you had so much possession out there. You had a lot of crosses into the box. They just didn't stick. It's frustrating, I'd say, at times when you're watching on at that. Yeah, it is frustrating. And for all the possession we had, I don't think we created enough uh, chances, I suppose. But I felt our our moment was coming and and the goal was going to come. And there was just a turning point in the game. And obviously, credit to PMA for taking their, their opportunity. That's it. And for you, was there an extra maybe edge to the game or what did it feel like coming up against your, your old team? Uh, I don't think so. Like Obviously, we've gone to Greenog already out in Piedmont and um, got that one out of the way. And, but just think when you're going out to play, you're just focused on the game and focused on your own task and um, I hope that, that that's good enough to, to get the result and unfortunately it wasn't today. Yeah, it's a great occasion here today. You know, a record attendance for, for the league. You can see it here, the atmosphere. You know, it's not always the way. Yeah, it's brilliant. I think it's obviously a nice place to go and play in Tallis Stadium. It's it's been brilliant, and all the kids out. It's it's great and getting autographs and pictures and just go show show where the the game's grown to, and that means a lot. Vera Pau was here today. She's obviously having a look. Maybe last chance for some home base players. You're obviously on the squad, the training squad, starting now on Monday. The camp. How are you feeling about that? Yeah, good. Obviously, uh, looking forward to getting it back in with the girls as the excitement builds and um, just focusing and preparing for the World Cup. How has it been preparing? Obviously, it's something that you've been thinking about for a long time, and now it's nearly here. Yeah, thank God it's here, nearly here. Um, yeah, I think it's in the back of everyone's head uh, constantly, and um, every decision you're making, probably your daily life, is, is all focused to, towards the World Cup and preparing for that moment. And yeah, just looking forward to getting going on Monday. And what about your friends and family? Are any of them able to go? Yeah, uh, partner James is going out. My mom and dad, my brother and his uh, wife to be they're going out with honeymoon with their two kids as well so yeah yeah it's going to be really exciting what about your little one yeah he's going yeah oh, yeah yeah brilliant. yeah so he's booked to go yeah so. oh, that's amazing yeah. it's good to be able to share those moments like getting to a world cup and being able to bring your son along with you yeah yeah it's brilliant i think it's it's really special as well so fingers crossed all's go as well in the, the next few weeks and i'm on the plane as well yeah and uh, today as well lauren mccabe she was on the bench for rovers i seen katie mccabe was tweeting first time that she's been on the bench for the seniors it's massive to see that as well for the young players coming through yeah it's brilliant to think there's a crop of really good talented players coming through at rovers and it's great that the likes of lauren and um, gets her opportunity to be involved with the squad and um, a player with a bright future yeah absolutely and katie's going to join the squad now the 19th of june yeah yeah so i think she's coming in after the, the zambia game is the plan so obviously needs a bit of extra break after the season they had with champions league football yeah so looking forward to the to the group being together and all systems go brilliant Anya. thanks so much for your time no worries thanks, thank Emil. you i'll be lurking hard luck out there a tough one to take here at Tallis stadium yeah it was tough to be fair we're obviously playing the league champions right now um p mount they're on top of the table um we knew it was going to be a tough game to be fair uh first half i think i think it was just back and forth honestly a bit of ping pong uh, and then the second game we definitely got into it there and I feel like we were actually going to get a goal at one point and um, obviously we had a few chances we didn't we didn't get them but I mean that's part of the game as well uh, they got their goal and yeah it was it was it hurt to be fair when they got the goal yeah you had a lot of possession and their goal just came from overturning the ball and they just got that yeah. one chance and, and they mm-hmm. took it it, it a tough moment in sport when things like that happen yeah it's mad that she takes one chance to get it and they get the goal they obviously punished us for it um, but I mean it was tough and I think we did perform well as a team honestly we're a new team coming into the league and I think some teams are fearing us mm-hmm. um, we came out here not having pressure on us because the pressure was obviously on payment and I think yeah it's just it's just one of those games though isn't it yeah, what's it like being the the new team in the league? I th- yeah, I think it's good. Obviously, uh, people are they had expectations on us being like the new best thing because we obviously have some great talent on our team, uh, from young to middle aged like girls. Um, and I just think, yeah, they had high expectations, and I think we're fulfilling some of them. Um, I think we're playing well. Obviously, as a new team, especially think Piedmont came out here probably I'm not going to course here, but they were probably like shitting themselves <laughs> uh, coming to players but uh, I mean I think we gave them a good ball just oh, obviously the goal shouldn't have been in yeah that's yeah. it and there was a little bit of an extra edge definitely I think for supporters as well obviously with the likes of Anya and Stephanie obviously switching over to Shamrock Rovers as well 
that brought a little bit of an edge to the game too? Yeah, no, of course. Obviously, Anya and Steph are experienced players and even in training, we're learning a lot from them, like the young players coming in. Mm-hmm. They're learning a lot. Um, and even when I first came into Rovers, obviously I was playing with Anya before yeah. uh, with Ireland. And yeah, it's, she's just good experience. Like You just look up to them players, don't you? It's just... It's a good team because it has experienced players and it has also new players coming up and mm-hmm. the new players coming up are phenomenal and they can keep up with uh, the experienced players and that's what we need in the team and I think obviously going on forward in the second year coming into Rovers I think it'd be so good. Yeah. It feels like the, the league is really growing, even just football as a whole in Ireland. I think mm. you can see the crowds here today, yeah. a record crowd. You could hear them, I'm sure, mm. on the pitch. It's brilliant to see. Oh, it's amazing. The support that we're getting at Tala now, all the kids coming down. I'm telling you, it's 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 so good to have that support behind you when you're playing. It just pushes you on when you need it the most. Mm. Obviously, when that goal went in and we were making runs and nearly getting chances, the crowd was going wild and it was obviously giving us that just that little more that we needed when we were playing and um, I think without that I think we we wouldn't have been be able to try get even nearer the goal so yeah I think it's amazing how football's grown especially with women like you're one of the last people out on the pitch you've been signing <laughs> loads of autographs doing loads of pictures yeah. you know that that comes with it all do you enjoy that side of it of course obviously obviously I never would have thought that coming in here that all the kids would be looking for my autograph I can hear Abby everywhere and I'm like oh my god <laughs> it's amazing though like you never not have time for fans like that it's just it's what makes you you as well like you can't just go into the dressing room even I, as much as I was really annoyed after the game I couldn't do it I just needed a minute and then I'd go over and yeah. that's obviously why I'm last out <laughs> but, that's brilliant and yeah. was your family here today and your friends yeah my uh, mom and dad and then obviously a couple of my friends they come to most of my all my matches so it's yeah it's great and how excited are they for you at the minute obviously making the Ireland training squad you're going to go into camp now on Monday yeah, they're buzzing. Um, they're so proud of me, to be fair. Um, they obviously had a lot of faith in me as well from the beginning. Mm-hmm. And I think it's just the hard work I've put in as well. I'd like to say that myself. I think I've worked hard. Um, and obviously I have a lot more to do now coming into this camp. I have to keep my head down and keep working. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see what's coming up. Vera Pau was here today and you put on a good performance. Yeah, yeah. I think first half uh, was... I could have put in a bit more, but second half I was like, no, we have to beat this. I was like, I have to come out and perform here. So, yeah, I think think I done, I think I done well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you know Vera would be here? Um, not really, no. I knew she was at um, Shell's game, but I didn't realise she would come over, but she did. And I, honestly, to me, I wouldn't really mind who's watching us. So I just want to perform for myself, you know. Play so Yeah. Yeah, 100%. And what would it mean to you then to actually make the, the squad for the World oh, Cup? God, <laughs> dream come true, honestly. I never even thought I would be this close as well. Um, yeah, no, no words can even describe it, to be fair. Oh, brilliant. Well, thanks so yeah. much and the best Thank of luck. Tara O'Hanlon, sum it up. He may have got the win over Shamrock Rovers here in Tala Stadium. Yeah, I think it was a great game. You know, I think coming in, starting the first half, I think Rovers probably had the better of us. And it just was about coming together as a team, being resilient, holding on, and you know we got ourselves back into the game. Thankfully, we got to go. Yeah, we were just speaking to Erin there and Shamrock Rovers. They had a lot of the possession throughout yeah. the game, but you really just took your chance when it came. Yeah, no, look, credit to Rovers. You know, as a new team coming in, they can play football, and you know they they move the ball well. They like a lot of possession. I think that kind of suited us, though. You know, we let them kind of let them have the ball a little bit, and then took our chances when we got them. Thankfully. Was there an extra edge coming into today's game? Obviously, we know some of the, the players have switched over this year. Shamrock Rovers are a new team in the league, as you said. Was there a little bit of an edge coming into it? Yeah, I mean, I think there's always a little bit of like competitiveness in between the players, but like there's no like bad blood or anything, obviously. You know, we, we still love the girls and wish them the best. And it's just one of those things in football, you know, players make moves and it was important to, while you use that little bit of emotion as kind of motivation, it's not really, you kind of have to put that to the back of your head and just play the game. And just on the occasion here today, you know, a record attendance for your friends and family here? Yeah, look, I had my, my mom and dad somewhere and a couple of friends. You know, it's, it's nice to have a big crowd, especially when you can hear them behind you. I remember I was up in the corner there and I could hear the Piedmont fans, so that's nice to hear. Yeah, it's not always the way. It feels like the women's game in Ireland is, is really taken to a new level. Yeah, I think I think it's only grown after. I think especially the Euros and the World Cup coming up, qualifying for the World Cup, it's kind of risen the interest in football, so I think that's definitely good. And just with Ireland obviously qualifying for the World Cup, the camp is now on Monday. Are you looking forward to to getting in there? Yeah, I mean, I think I'm I'm trying to balance my leaving sir and exams and then camp as well. But I'm just, I'm thankful to be in and I'm I'm looking forward to to showing what I can do and hopefully proving myself.
Yeah, you're so young, you know, only made your debut against the USA. Yeah. Doing your leave insert, what is it like balancing all of that? Uh, it's, it's quite surreal, you know, I probably wouldn't have thought of it. I definitely wouldn't have thought I'd be here last year, but I think it's kind of more about putting it to the back of your head and not making it such a, as a big a thing as it maybe it is. I think just take the moments as they come and I'm kind of just moving one foot in front of the other right now, you know, exams on Monday, so I go home, rest, probably study a little bit Sunday and fingers crossed for Monday and then go to training after my exams. Okay, so you'll do your leave insert on Monday yeah. and you'll go into the Ireland camp? I'll go and train, yeah, after after my exams. Okay, and when do your exams finish? Uh, I finish up on Wednesday for a week and then I have two more exams just before the Zambia game, one after. <laughs> wow, what does your parents think of all this? I think they've kind of come to terms with it now a little bit, you know, uh, football is what I want to try and pursue. Obviously, I'll have the education to balance it along in case, fingers crossed, anything, anything goes, not doesn't go my way, mm -hmm. injuries and things like that, I'll have a backup plan, but... It's definitely football is definitely what I want to do unbelievable and what's your school like are they supportive of this oh yeah 100% uh, I think I've probably missed more school in the last two years I think if you add up the amount of school I've missed in the last two years it probably adds to a year of school and um, they're they're really supportive look all my teachers are kind of you know at my disposal if I need any help you know they're always open to, to help me and tutor me if I need any extra help so which is all I can ask for I'm grateful so you obviously have to do a lot of work yourself then you know away from school maybe in the downtime evenings weekends yeah, look, I think it's when you miss as much as I do, it is kind of up to you to catch up. I probably haven't done as much as I maybe could, but um, I'm, I'm managing what I'm doing, so I'm happy. And today, obviously, was a, a special occasion. Yeah, look, winning Talisane in front of this crowd is an amazing feeling. I think that there's extra three points to put a six ahead at the top. That kind of just icing on top, I think. Brilliant, Tara. Well, I'll let you go and get studying, hey? <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Amelia. Well Erin, congratulations. What a win out there, yeah. talk me through it. Thanks very much, uh, oh, I was unreal, like when that goal went in the last five minutes, just the feeling was unbelievable. I think the whole game, it could have went either way, like it was neck and neck. There wasn't a load of chances in the game, but both teams just kept battling to the very end. And I think even when we did go 1-0 up, like Rovers were pushing on us and we dropped off too, we defended, but in the end, we just had to grind it out and look, we got the results in the end and that's all that matters, I suppose. Absolutely, Rovers had a lot of the possession out there Team out just stayed positive though and you took your chance when it came. Yeah, hundred percent. I think we didn't start the best. Like the first twenty minutes we were probably all over the place, but we knew we could still get into the game. And I think the last fifteen minutes of the first half, we started to become ourselves. We got used to the surface, used to the big pitch. And yeah, at half time then we just kicked on. We knew we could do it. How does it feel to be still sitting top of the table? Uh, it feels amazing, like and to have that extra boost now, I think six points. Yeah. It's amazing, like we just have to keep pushing now and take each game as it comes. Yeah, it seemed like this game in particular it meant a lot. There was a lot of anticipation around it. There's a record crowd here at Tallis Stadium. It just felt at that final whistle and seeing all your actions, it really did mean a lot. Yeah, like the crowd here, it's unbelievable, especially for like a women's game in this league. And to see all the young girls out here and look, the Rovers players are still out signing away, taking pictures. We were out taking pictures. I think in the last 15 minutes, we could hear all the young ones shouting P-Mount and you could feel it on the pitch, like you can feel their support and it's, it's amazing. Like. It feels like the women's game has taken to a new level now. Obviously, we know off the back of the Republic of Ireland team qualifying for the World Cup, but it really you can feel it around the grounds. Yeah, every game, the, the tents are getting bigger and bigger. Like, look today, the stadium's packed with people, and obviously the World Cup's coming up as well. It's huge. Vera Pau was here today. I was sitting not too far from her. She was obviously having a look. Maybe a last chance for, for some home-based players to, to make it in the squad. You're going to the training camp for from Monday now. How are you feeling about that? Yeah, I'm delighted to be in. And I suppose it's another chance to keep pushing now. The final squad isn't named yet, so it's just to train hard now in this preparation camp and keep pushing. How did you hear that you made the squad? Yeah, so Vera rang me and it was amazing. Like, it's really unexpected and to get that news, like, it's home and tell my family. Everyone was just over the moon. Yeah, did you give them a call or did you go see them in person? I give them a call because they're all up in Donegal, yeah. so <laughs> they're a bit far away, but yeah. Oh, brilliant. So it's a massive opportunity for you. Yeah, huge opportunity. What would it mean to, to make it to the World Cup? Uh, it would be unbelievable. Like, your dreams going to World Cup as a little girl and to be there, we just couldn't describe it. And just about this P-Mount team, what's it like, I suppose, playing on this team alongside the likes of Karen Duggan, players that have been around for a long time? Yeah, this team, it's just incredible. Like, the girls, everything, everyone out there is playing for each other. They're not playing for themselves, they're playing for each other. And to have a captain like Karen Duggan, who wants it probably more than anyone, it's, just, it's class to play underneath someone like that. Brilliant, Aaron. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks, well a million. Thank Cheers. you.